What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today, Apple released iOS 10 Beta 2 to the public and I've just downloaded it here on my iPhone 6. I'm gonna be doing a hands-on review showing you guys the new features and bug fixes, so let's jump right into it. So iOS 10 Beta 2 does not have a huge amount of new features, but it does have some cool little updates. First off, if you go to the Notification Center here and scroll to the left, you can now see the widgets in the Today view just like you could in iOS 9. Nothing new, but they have added that back into iOS 10. Next up, a very needed feature if you go into the settings application and then go into general, accessibility, home button, you will now see an option that says rest finger to unlock. This will allow you to use touch ID to actually unlock your device rather than pressing the home button on the lock screen as Apple has killed off slide to unlock. So a very needed addition. This is how it should be. And honestly, I don't know why Apple just didn't have this in beta one guys. Next up, if you go in control center, we've got some UI refinements. If you scroll to the right here, you can see that when you go to the airplay screen, they now have a little bit of updated icons here. That's a lot of the operating system. You'll find that it's just a little bit better font and a little bit better icon. That's really what betas usually do, so nothing really surprising there. Another update like this is if you go in the music application, you'll see that the downloaded music section has been renamed to just downloads, simpler. Now it's the moment you guys have been waiting for. We have added the feedback application right here on the home screen. Oh yeah, lol. If you go back into the settings app and you go to the map section, you will see that now there's an option to turn off the show parked location, so your iPhone's gonna start being a little less creepy it's not going to know exactly where you parked the health application has actually added an organ donation option so you can actually sign up to be an organ donor right there from your medical id on your iphone also when using digital touch in the messages app you can actually change the color of the paint here and just write whatever you want and then you can simply go back here they've added a lot more color options the messages app store is actually active now in ios 10 beta 2 just go ahead and click the app store symbol here go to the bottom left and click these four little dots and you will see that you can actually open the store in the app store to just add anything you want to messages just like they showed in the WWDC keynote. Another option in messages is if you go into settings and then go into messages you'll see that it has a low quality image mode which basically says when this is on images sent will be lower quality. This is basically to save cellular data and if you want to use that you can and it's always nice when Apple gives us more options. Also in the control center if you go to actually 3D touch on the flashlight button now or any of those icons it'll give you better icons and better fonts. I can't show you that because this is my iPhone 6 but you guys probably saw my previous video if you actually 3d touch on this it just looks a little bit better it's more refined another update is when you look here at the lock button right there when you go ahead and unlock your device there's a little animation inside the status bar pretty cool simple subtle I like it and in general guys the speed of iOS 10 beta 2 is a little bit better than iOS 10 beta 1 I could do a geek bench on this but I'm not gonna get that geeky on you I'm just gonna go ahead and let you take my word for it basically I've noticed that application open a little bit quicker it's a little bit snappier that's to be expected with every beta so we can expect that with every beta to come but it's good to see that Apple actually updated the speed a little bit always a nice little perk so if you guys want to get this firmware without being a developer the same method that I showed you a couple weeks ago still applies so go ahead and check out the card right there go ahead and click the video you'll be able to download iOS 10 beta 2 without being a developer I believe the public release is coming in the next couple weeks they did say July so I would expect mid July that's when you can get the public beta but if you want to go ahead and get it now go ahead and check out my guide like i said and stick around for more ios 10 reviews guys thanks for watching as always be sure to subscribe if you like this video and rate thumbs up also check out my facebook google plus twitter and website down there in the description those are good places to follow me and good ways to stay in touch also be sure to check out my links to get paid ios and android apps for free down there in the description and as always guys stick around until next time thanks for watching stay awesome peace